just like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel also has a variety of templates available for users to use in order to improve their experience with the software and increase efficiency by having established templates set up. So let's access them. What I have to do is go File and New. Okay, and here they all are here. Now you'll see a pattern with the templates available and often reoccurring. What we have are templates that have inbuilt charts. So basically as you change the values within those spreadsheets, the chart automatically changes to reflect that. Okay. We have calendars where users can fill in specific events and when they're going to occur on each date. We have inventory lists for invoicing. Okay, so where lists of products can be um, put in and prices associated with their products. Okay, there are ways of budgeting. Okay, and calculators which show how much is being spent, how much is being saved, and as we can see with the one here, has a graph associated with it. Okay. And that's kind of the pattern we see reoccurring with these ones. So what we might do is open one up. Maybe we'll take a look at this calendar one here. Okay, and here it is. This one's just a simple table. And obviously I can just fill in whenever I want what events are coming up. Let's take a look at another one. We won't save that. Okay, so file, new. Okay, and maybe this time we'll look at this payment comparison. So what this one has is an actual graph and then to the left of it where the values are. So if I change, let's say that to 50, okay, you actually see the graph change immediately to reflect that value change. This one also has a variety of worksheets built into it. So we can actually see payment scheduling and loan calculating. So this is actually quite a larger template. Now, I can change colors, I can change formatting, and I'm, once again, I can re-save it as my own personal template. Now, if I am going to do this, what it gets saved as is a .xltx, an Excel template file. Okay, so that is just done by going File, Save As, okay, and I'll go Spreadsheet Lessons. Okay, but what I've got to notice here is I choose that XLTS. SLTX, sorry. Okay, format. Okay, once I make it a template, it defaults to the custom office templates folder. If that's where you want to save it, that's fine. But you can also save it to one of your own personal root directories for easier access. So I hope that helps you understand how to access a variety of templates available in Microsoft Excel and how they can help the user experience by being there.